when you see the products of the student, uh, what, whatever the students have come up with, you feel very satisfied. After much hard work put in and much time put into this project. This is an innovative approach of, community, of uh, conducting project work, communicating with teachers and facilitate inter-school projects across schools. My project work experience is that uh, I get to meet other new friends from Serangoon Garden Secondary School. I've learned about teamwork and basically in the past I did not have any teamwork experience and I learned to interact well with my group members. We realised that the education system in Singapore has been changing rapidly since the introduction of Thinking Schools and Learning Nation TSL inversion. Now we are heading towards innovative and dynamic teaching and learning in the borderless world. One of the many initiatives that followed this project work, it was introduced in the year 2000 to equip students with critical and creative thinking skills. We also hope to enhance their communication and collaborative learning skills. Funded by the Ministry of Education, in collaboration with eight schools, the project work research is spearheaded by a team of researchers from the National Institute of Education. Broadly, the goal of the research is to equip students with critical thinking skills and lifelong learning skills, amongst many others. This research project also aims to develop students' self-directed inquiry. To the advances of technology, learning opportunities are provided for them to explore authentic project tasks across subjects beyond the classroom walls. The use of an asynchronous online discussion platform facilitated the virtual exchange among students from different schools. For example, the project task entitled Our Forefathers got students from at least two different schools working together to make use of the knowledge across subjects such as history, moral education, English language, as well as art to carry it out. This study comprised three phases. We recognize that the success of the project teams often hinges on how well the teachers perform their roles in the project work process. Teachers play a significant role in designing project tasks to achieve the desired goal of student-directed inquiry. The general idea for designing student-centered learning within a school is for teachers to collaborate. Hence, the first phase involves identifying the gaps in teachers' knowledge and skills in project work. From this assessment, it was found that the teachers lacked the knowledge and skills in facilitating student-centered learning. In a student-centered learning environment, the teacher's role becomes that of a facilitator. In fact, the teacher stops teaching in a traditional manner. The students take on an active role in learning by asking questions, discussing amongst themselves and sourcing for information. I'm actually acting as a facilitator, okay, and a peacemaker, I would say. Yeah, whenever they have conflicts with the students from the other school, then we have to come in. After we had identified the knowledge and skills gaps of the teachers, the next phase of the study was to begin. In this phase, we had a training workshop, a three-hour training workshop, to try and bridge some of the knowledge skills gaps. And at the same time, we introduced to the teachers the asynchronous online learning platform that they would be using. This platform, uh, the teachers would be, with this platform, the teachers would be communicating with their colleagues in other schools for a period of six months to collaboratively craft the student project tasks. There are 40 of us from eight different schools to form project teams in this research project. Our diversified teaching subject includes mathematics, science, history, geography, and English. Collaboratively in an online environment, our role is to craft interdisciplinary projects for our students' participation. The teachers crafted their project tasks for almost six months using the scaffolded online discussion platform and the online resources provided by NIE. During this time, the researchers served as facilitators to the teachers' online discussions. A total of eight distinct project tasks emerged at the end of the period. The second phase of the research study concluded with a workshop to enhance the teacher's pedagogical skills in the area of facilitation.
It was the students' turn to go online for the third phase of the study. One secondary two class from each school participated in this phase. Firstly, the students selected the project task that they wanted to work on. Then, they were put into project task groups which comprised students from different schools who were interested in the same task. Finally, they were given a just-in-time training session by the researchers. The aim was to get the students familiar with the asynchronous online discussion platform so that they could use it to collaborate with the project counterparts in another school for the next five months. Our pupils were required to form inter-school project groups to work on this project task using the same online environment so as to communicate and work on the task with the counterparts from the other school. Our pupils were very excited as it was the first time they were able to communicate and share their ideas using the online environment otherwise known as KC with the other peers from the other school. They were also, be able, they were also allowed to go on site uh, to visit the school and make new friends personally from that school. In this phase of the research, the teachers facilitated the students' project work in school. At the midpoint, the, a face-to-face -face meeting was arranged uh, for the students to meet up so that they get to meet their virtual friends to uh, collaborate the other processes that are related to project work. After the face-to-face -face meetings, the, the researchers continue to provide the support to schools by visiting the class, uh, project work classrooms. They visited and they actually helped out in the project work classrooms in terms of the students' uh, discussions, in terms of teach, uh, students' meetings, and also rendering help to the teachers as to how to better facilitate the project work. Generally, it was observed that students took the initial teething problems, such as login difficulty or slow response from the counterparts in their stride. They persevered and progressed well in their online collaborations. It was also noted that the teachers, after having gained some experience, facilitated the students' learning and online discussions well. They were able to communicate their expectations clearly, help the students meet the various project milestones, and provided guidance as and when required. I can only guide them through how do they actually manage the information, pick the information, or pick the data, it's up to them. I actually guide them, more of a guider, a guider than a teacher. I don't teach, I can't teach in this case. In the final stage of this research study, staff of NIE were invited to judge the oral presentations put up by all the students. The best entry for each project work task subsequently competed in the finals. Students came prepared, with props and all. It was a successful event and everyone enjoyed themselves. At the end of the presentation, the pupils were very happy because they have learned something from the project and the, progress and the process of uh, doing the project. What they are most happy with was they were able to make new friends of this project. As a follow-up to the presentation at NIE, Students were invited to exhibit their work at the International Conference of Educational Technology, ICET, 2004, which was hosted by Canberra Secondary School. This time, the students had the opportunity to interact with an authentic audience, the conference participants, some of whom were from overseas. This was indeed a good learning experience for them, broadening their communicative and critical thinking skills. Yes, overall the researchers has found the success in the teachers as well as the students' collaboration across the schools. And at this juncture, we would like to thank the schools for the enthusiasm and continued support for this project. And now we are ready to move on to map out the, this mode of learning to other schools.